Hi guys, this is Leona from Super Conscious Soul. So basically, this is your what's my next move, yeah? After the eclipse, because the eclipse is bringing up all kind of emotions where people are like, oh no, what do I do next? What do I need to do next? So this is kind of in response to that. So basically, yeah, this month for you guys, you are you're on fire the eclipse is in your sign so it's it's obviously radiating out in your cards so your advice this month is you've got movement choices and decisions so this is about saying that with this eclipse and just after you're going to have a lot of options a lot of choices it's asking you to stay focused to stay balanced um to just stay a little bit flexible don't make no choices just yet possibly but at the same time it's also saying that the longer you take to make those choices if you dilly dally too long after the eclipse and you take too long to make those choices it can, they can also then be um maybe taken away taken back um change so just stay focused and stay flexible about your choices this month underneath that in terms of love you've got children your love life is being affected by children this month so this could mean that um you're either wanting children or your partner has children um and what this card is saying is that in order to kind of overcome this, what you can do is get in touch with your more playful side, say. Look at the the more your more childlike nature this month, Leo. Um tap into that energy this month and it will it will kind of fix any problems that seem to be going around with children. Um yeah, tap into your playful energy. Use that that side to kind of bring about um that childlike energy which in turn will kind of help fix this vibration for you you've got the tower underneath that so that could be telling me that um in terms of your decisions and choices this could be saying that things could be taken away there could be sudden insights sudden revelations they could be dreams this month that make you see things in a whole nother way they could be an event that happens that kind of um forces you to look at things in another way and thus make it um flowers your decision let's say so next to the movement and decisions we've got solitude so this is asking you to tap into yourself to tap into um pause reflect evaluate reevaluate this month because the decisions and the sorry the answers are inside of you this month or it could say to look out for somebody maybe a virgo um that could be bringing about wisdom and insights for you they don't necessarily have to be a virgo but somebody could be coming into your life that helps you tap into um more of your wisdom and your insights let's say after the um eclipse then we've got passion it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so tap into that passionate energy this month leo with this solitude card i'm also getting that some of you could not want to be kind of on stage this month because um it could be um people coming out out of the woodwork to kind of you're like what's wrong with me have i got a different perfume on or something but it, this is saying that you could want to kind of escape from that some of you but it's probably asking you not to. It's just asking you to tap into more of your playful side with the children and more of your passionate side with this card this month. It's asking you to be more passionate and then you will tap into more moments of passion. It's almost like put the energy out of what you want to bring in this month. And in that sense, we have foundations and achievements, yeah? This is saying that it's about basically being open to the blessings that the universe has for you this could be about relationships moving up to next level this could be about marriage this could be about um 
buying property but this is definitely something that the universe is blessing you with this month um and all it's asking is for you to be open to be open underneath that we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so you could meet somebody on holiday you could be going on holiday with somebody this month if not it's saying to just kind of tap in to those moments together steal away and get those moments together um allow yourself to spend some time with each other if you're in a relationship or if you're looking it's just asking you to just enjoy and look out for for this um this time because i feel like new love could be coming in because you do have the queen of cups this is somebody romantic sensitive um loyal nurturing um she could be coming in to support you or he could be coming in to support you because it doesn't matter whether it's a man or a woman on these cards so um they could be coming in to support you this month underneath honeymoon you also have the star so this is saying that this month things are kind of being guided you are the star this month leo this is your month and the kind of the eclipse is going to bring that out of you um people are noticing this energy that you have around you it's also about um being guided by um something bigger than ourselves feeling kind of tapped in to the above and below this month final card no sorry two more cards the card is three of rods this is about making plans for the future this is about doors opening up for you this is about having the world at your oyster the world in your hands this month let's say um this is about you making plans and long-term goals and i feel like the plans that you make in these next this next month will will last you for a long time because the eclipse kind of does that the energy of the eclipse lasts a lot longer than say um the moons yeah the moon phases you also have the ace of swords so this is victory this is you standing up for what you believe this is you standing in your power this month leo and then your final advice card it says soul frequency find the real you this month tap into the real you because you've been given all the cards and all the help this month you are being guided by the universe this month leo take care stay blessed bye bye